Guys, I just want to let you guys see the license plate scanner is back up. Most of the buses in the city are going to have this. And this is starting off now in Brooklyn. So if you guys don't know about this, if you parked in a bus stop on a, on a bus lane, you're going to get a ticket. It's a license plate scanner. So there you go. I'm letting give you guys heads up. The hefty fine if you get caught out there. In the criminal justice system, Street racing offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Street Racing Prevention Unit. These are their stories. This house right here might have to take a look at this later and see about the internet and talk to these people in ground pool see the problem uh, here in long island and i've tried to explain this to you in my videos the problem ultimately is that uh when donald trump was in office he took away what was called mortgage tax deductions and that problem is that houses just like this they have taxes higher than ten thousand dollars so people just like with this house right here, people who lived out here in Long Island, their taxes were always considered high because see in the good old days of segregation where you kept the blacks inside Jamaica and uh, basically out here was all white basically. Now I'm talking about the good old days of segregation. Well, basically the taxes were used as a way to keep people inside the city because they'd never afford that much you know the tax they couldn't afford they couldn't afford the property and they couldn't afford the tax the mortgage and the tax and the insurance was just so high now these areas are pretty much integrated randomly these are still beautiful areas and everything you know because i know there's a lot of y'all who don't like integration but you know i don't give a fuck personally whatever you think doesn't matter to me but all i'm saying is when trump was in office he took away mortgage tax deductions now, prior to that, Long Island had already been losing a lot of factories and businesses and such that had started moving off Long Island. Like, for instance, the Grumman, Northrop Grumman, people made the F-14 Tomcat. They moved down to, like, Florida. Some of them moved to different states and everything, basically where taxes were much lower than they were here in New York State. Look at this guy. He got the Tesla with the charge in his Tesla. See, that's going to be me. I'm going to be charging my Tesla and I'm just gonna be chilling, charging my Tesla, not gonna have to ever go to a gas station ever again, charging your Tesla out there, that's nice. But uh, the thing about it is, the taxes out here are high as fuck. All of these properties here, Long Island, all of these fucking properties, you're talking about 12, 13, some 16, $15,000 a year in property taxes. So unless you own the house free and clear, this is a nice house right here, Unless you own the house free and clear, you're paying a huge mortgage. You're paying, look at this guy, the Kona. You get the property taxes, insurance, everything's high. And this is what I've been trying to talk about. Now, what's funny is Trump has lots and lots of supporters out here, but none of them mentioned the fact that he himself in 2018 took away the mortgage tax deductions. See, I believe that when you talk about politicians, you need to explain exactly what they did and you need to explain exactly what they didn't do and you also need to explain exactly what they did wrong. Like for instance, I'm no Biden supporter. Biden's fucking up left and right. You already watch my videos, you already know. Look at this one, look at this one, this one's for sale. Look at this, look at this, look at this. See, you know what's sad? I keep trying to tell people, people think there's gonna be a housing crisis. There's not gonna be no fucking housing crisis. Right now, there's barely any foreclosures. 
barely any foreclosures simply because a lot of people refinance to 3% fixed interest rate mortgages. These people will never sell these fucking houses. They'll move people in with them to help them pay it, rent out basements, such and such. They will never sell these fucking houses. These people are gonna keep those houses. This is their number one asset. They're never gonna sell these places. If they if they can if they have to rent that shit out to Airbnb, if they have to host Ukrainian refugees, if they have to do Section 8 for the busloads of migrants, they'll do whatever it takes, but they are not selling these properties ever. They're not selling these properties. They are not. That guy was looking at me because he saw that SRT badge. See, when you got the SRT, see when you when it says SRT on it, this ain't no scat pack. Look at this lady. What's this lady doing? When it says SRT on it, this ain't no fucking scat pack, buddy. This ain't no Chrysler 300 limited edition. No, 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 no. It says street racing technology, motherfucker. This, I, man, I feel so good to have my goddamn Jeep back. And as you saw in the video, I'm at 77,803 miles. I, I, I was lucky enough to catch 77777 because the last time when it was at 66666, I missed it. But this time I got lucky sevens. Oh, God damn, I feel good to have my Jeep back. I feel so good to have my Jeep back. And it's going to feel even better when I trade this motherfucker in for that Cadillac while I'm watching myself. My gas, what is this? The gas mileage is 10.08. I reset it yesterday when I got gas. I was averaging about 14 miles per gallon for about 20 minutes. And then all of a sudden, this shit is back to right where it should be, 10.8. Right? That's where it always was. You know? feels so good to have it back it's funny after being in an economy car long enough it, it makes you rethink it makes you rethink your uh you know your relationship with a gas guzzling srt this thing is so fucking heavy that it feels heavy just doing whatever it does it just feels heavy while it was at the shop i actually got brakes done so the bra I have brand new pads in the back so you may you may hear some squ uh, squeaking of brake dust but for the most part brand new SRT Brembo pads we're feeling pretty we're feeling pretty but uh, yes I am so glad to have my SRT back for now and I think I'll feel even better to have my super luxury electric Cadillac when the Cadillac comes I'm gonna get my super electric Cadillac Feels good. Hope y'all are enjoying the iPhone 14 Pro Max one terabyte quality. Cause it looks good. Oh, I'm a little, oh, a Cadillac. Look at this Cadillac. Yeah, you can go, you can go look at the Cadillac. Cadillac, there you go, there you go. All right, there you go. Hey, look right there, it's Godzilla. You don't see too many of those anymore. It's like all of those cars all busted up and broken shit. So the, the cost of uh, keeping those cars running got so high that you got a lot of people who just gave those cars back you know the people who try to buy them used they find out real quickly why you don't buy a fucking nissan gtr used yeah because those, those things are, are monsters when it comes to fucking maintenance and repairs so anyway i was just gonna run to this store over here this guy's all behind me with the stupid truck get out of here this guy's behind me with the stupid truck bro just gonna run to the store right here and just grab a couple of things. We're still testing out this iPhone. Let me tell you something, this camera is fucking incredible. I am probably not going to upgrade again until they have two terabyte storage. Once they have two terabyte storage, that's when I'll upgrade. So I got this stupid ass BMW right here trying to race past me. And here I am again. It's another morning headed towards the city. Only this time we got the iPhone 14 Pro Max, one terabyte. And uh, the only thing I'm going to record is that Google Maps claims that there's a car accident up here. Now, considering it's like they figure out a way to fuck up every single morning, this better be good. Like, this better be really good because there's no reason for traffic to be backed up at all. There's, like, no reason. There's no reason for this shit. Absolutely freaking no reason. So this better be good. It's supposed to right around this bend, a little bit further up, very close by, there's supposed to be a traffic accident. Now, as far as this iPhone Pro Max camera, let me tell you something. They, what I, I didn't realize it until I started using it. Um, the older cameras had, uh, you know, 
Um, they didn't have the pro res and everything, but this camera has some damn good optical zoom. It has a, right now it's using the 1X optical zoom, but then like that's 2X right there, and then that's the 3X optical zoom. So you can also, of course, do the 0.5 for the wide angle, which is like this. Yeah, this is, oh, you can't do that on video. All right, yeah, the 0.5 wide angle, that uh, uses a different camera and it doesn't work in video record mode. But uh, when you're taking photos, uh, yeah, this, I, I'd say that this is probably the pinnacle of uh, 4K 60 frame per second recording on iPhone. I think that the iPhone 15, iPhone 16, I'm absolutely going to skip it. I'm not going to buy them. However, when they do bring out a two terabyte storage unit, that's when I'll buy a new iPhone. So I'm thinking that the iPhone 15 is not going to have it. And if the iPhone 15 doesn't have it, I'm pretty sure the iPhone 16 won't have it. Because what Apple usually does is they run two phones. They run a, uh, an initial model and then on top of the initial model, they have a revision. So the foot, like a lot of people are trying to complain that the 13 and the 14 were too similar. Yeah, the 13 and the 14 were basically the same. The only difference was software and some hardware revisions. But um, if they go the same route with the uh, 15 and 16 like I expect, then I'll just skip those and I'll wait for the iPhone 17, you know? Now, it's kind of hard to assume that I'd actually skip like two model years, but um, I, I can't, nothing set in stone. My thing is two terabytes from, at this point, the, the way I see it, the only thing I need is more storage. You're saying, oh, one terabyte, isn't that enough? It's like, no, no, that's not enough. I need two terabytes. A lot of people don't understand why I need so much storage space. It's because if you're making videos and stuff, to store the video clips, to have the video stuff locally on the phone, you can't use iCloud for that. You can't edit movies in iCloud. You have to edit everything locally. So that means that even if your videos were in iCloud, you'd have to download them first to a Mac computer or to an iPad or to an iPod. Whatever it is, you'd have to download those videos in order to edit them. But see, the reason why I like having this much storage is because I can do all my editing on the phone. You know, I can keep everything local on the device. Hey, they promised me a car accident. I don't see nothing. All I see is more motherfucking traffic. I don't see no car accident yet, no. I'm, I'm going to probably stop recording, but uh, I don't, I'm not seeing nothing yet. I don't see shit. Oh, wait a minute. Something, everybody's getting out of, oh no, no they're not. No, it looks like people are getting out of this lane, if I'm not mistaken. This sucks. It is fucking traffic. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't see nothing. I was supposed to see an accident, but uh, I don't see nothing. All I see is traffic. It sucks. All right. Well, if anything changes, I'll uh, I'll keep going. But uh, I don't see. I don't see nothing. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 Nope. Nope. I don't see nothing. See so there it is. There's the accident. So as you can see, something happened there. Oh shit. Yeah, he okay, so they loaded that car up. And then there's the cops, the coppers. Yeah, so that could oh shit, it was a Porsche. It was a Porsche Cayenne. Yeah, it, a, it looked like a Porsche Cayenne right there. Yeah, but still, that's over there. Why the fuck is there all this traffic this way? It's ridiculous. 
sucks, man. Yep, and it's like this every single... Ever since the pandemic, traffic has been worse than I ever remember it. Never fails. It's just, it's just nightmarish. So eventually, I'm going to have my electric caddy, and it's going to be driving itself. Now, this right here is something you'll only see in New York City. A really, really small New York City house with a fucking Ferrari in the goddamn yard. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at these houses. Would you feel safe parking a fucking Ferrari in, in a housing space like this? I know goddamn sure I wouldn't. Look at these streets. That's crazy. You gotta put a Ferrari in this ghetto. Look at this this ghetto ass fucking. Anyway, <laughs> this place is straight ghetto, and you're putting Ferraris on the block. Like that's just deep. That is deep. That's unbelievable. But hey, listen. And then this is the other one. They got the, the Charger. That's the that 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 right there is the hood car right there. That's the Charger Scat. Charge of scats. You got a, there's like one or two Hellcats sitting around somewhere. It's like, nah, man, listen. I would take that Ferrari money. I'd go buy a fucking house somewhere else. That That's what I would do. But, you know, I'm, I'm the type of person who actually thinks and shit. So, you know, some people don't do that. So, like, I, I'm gonna, whatever amount of money I spent on that Ferrari, I would have spent that shit buying a place somewhere else. There's no way in hell. This is New York City. These shit, little ass, ugly ass houses. These houses, my 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 bed is wider than like part of that first floor right there. And the, see what they do is they make the houses long in order to compensate for the fact that the front entrance is like tiny. It's like it's just it's depressing. And and you know people, you know how much these houses cost? All of these fucking houses are five hundred thousand or better. Some are six. 600,000, 500,000. All of these fucking, all of these freaking houses are five and 600,000, maybe even seven. In some cases, even higher than that. If they're multiple stories or if they're multifamily dwellings, these things may, these, some of these fucking things go up to a 900 and some go up to a million, believe it or not. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. You're gonna pay that kind of money to live here? That's fucked up. And then everybody says the same shit. They're like, yeah, well, if you move to Texas, you can get a mansion for $300,000. Or you can get a gigantic house. Man, look at the acreage on my house, and it only costs $400,000. Not here. Not, not here in New York City. Not here. This place, I, I swear to God, it's depressing. when People keep saying, oh, why don't you just leave it? The problem is the money's here. You can't leave New York. You leave New York, that means that you couldn't afford to stay here. Uh, it doesn't, it's not that simple. It's just not that simple. So my man right here got another plaid. I'm seeing all these damn plaids. Look at this plaid. Plaid mode. And he's stuck in fucking traffic just like me. And there's another one up there. There's another Tesla Model X right up there too. That one, that one doesn't look like a plaid. I can't see the badge too much. This guy's got that crazy ass yoke steering wheel. Looks like he's driving itself. He's driving it itself. It's letting, he's letting the damn thing drive itself. You see, that's why I can't wait till I get my Cadillac. So this way, when I'm stuck in this fucking traffic, the car could just drive itself. I don't have to do nothing. For now, all I can do is hit my distance control and just say, yes, uh, do my adaptive cruise control in low-speed traffic. But that's just not, it's just not the same. I want the car to steer itself. So I've got to get my Cadillac. I'm sorry, it's, you know, this truck was fun and everything, but the new technology speaks for itself. It just sells itself, man. Plaid moods. But it's amazing. You pay $150,000 and you get that shitty ass Tesla interior. Meanwhile, Cadillac got speakers in the dim, in the, in the headrest, they got speakers, they got leather all over the thing. Not that vegan leather bullshit heated cooled massage seats you paid one hundred fifty thousand dollars. you don't get massage seats come on really oh man i need my cadillac i need my cadillac i need it now i need
needs my Cadillac. Oh, those two Model X's are together now. I can't, if I could get closer to them, if I get closer to them, it's kind of hard to get close to them because they're so far up. I need my Cadillac. Damn it. If I had my Cadillac, traffic would be fun because I'd be probably passed out of sleep in a car would be fucking driving the show. Nah, well, you can't go to sleep because it watches you to make sure you pay attention. Damn it. Oh, God, that ugly ass car. That thing's ugly. M3, that thing is ugly. But whatever. This guy right here with the Rhino Gray stuck in traffic just like everybody else. Just like me, unfortunately. Got the Rhino Gray, which looks dark blue for some reason. I'd never understand that. From New Jersey. Okay. And, oh, that's the 2018 model. 2017, 2018 model. And here we go again with the fucking traffic. Here we go. Come in. Once you get out of Manhattan and you get to this shit, what do you got to do? You got to hit that set button. Let's go. Let's, let's set this uh, distance control because I do not fucking feel like driving right now. Man, I can't wait to get my Cadillac. Damn, I can't wait to get my Cadillac. You know, it's that, you know. And, and again, and again, I know there's a lot of people who be like, oh, well, why don't you just keep the Jeep and this truck? But unfortunately, this thing is so aggressively expensive to repair. These WK2, see, those are not so bad. Those right there are not so bad. Those, the, the parts are cheap. Like the brakes are cheap wheels are cheap the rims are cheap the tires are cheap all that stuff is it's it's easier to afford to keep that off warranty but once one of these fucking things goes off warranty i keep telling you because there's just certain parts as you learn from my month-long experience there's just certain parts in these cars and especially in the event of a supply chain issue now personally i don't think we're gonna have another supply chain issue this pronounced after they clear up the issues that we're facing right now with the supply chain. But the thing about it is when you're talking about PCM computers and you're talking about steering components and shit that's not shared between cars and you're talking about, uh, what is it called? Like you're talking about alternators and stuff because this, this Jeep uses a more uh, bulkier, more expensive alternator than the regular WK2s. And then on top of that, this whole model line has been discontinued this model does you know that the wk2s don't exist like they're not built anymore the new wls and the the, the um, wh's the wls those are the new ones it's like it's like i i, I you know it, it, this this car even though is the durangos these cars are going to hold their their style because i honestly think the wk2s look better than the new ones and the average person really doesn't know the difference unless they're an enthusiast. And even if they did know the difference, they know what that I have the better engine than you can get in any of the new WL, WHs. But my thing is, it's it's a discontinued car for one. And then on top of that, it's, it's obsolete. It's very obsolete. So, you know, unfortunately, I just want to move on to my Cadillac, you know. I'm the type of person, it's like, I don't look back too much. And when I move on, I move on for good. You know, but I still got months to fucking go, man. It's like they said that that thing's supposed to be ready in January. That's a long time. That is a long time, man. But uh, we'll get there. I mean, we'll get there soon. We'll get there. And then there's the XT6. Now, the XT6 for me is very comfortable. The only thing about it is the XT6 is a gas car. So I wouldn't even consider the XT6. Not only that, it's like a mommy wagon, just like that mommy who's in there driving it right now. It's, it's a little too mommy wagon-ish. Right now, it's funny because as shitty as the interiors of these Teslas are, if you have a Tesla here, that shit is a luxury car. In fact, right now, a Tesla is more of a luxury car than one of these C-Class or E-Classes. You know, because people are so desperate to get those cars right now. And it's sad because they have no idea how, what they're in for. They don't realize that it has a shitty interior. They don't realize that it's a lot of headaches and stuff. You know. But I, I think the reason, again, I, I think I've said this before. I think the reason why 
the Teslas are luxury cars is because you pretty much have to have a house in order to really get the most out of it. If you're the type of person who actually has to wait at a charging station, it's not very luxury. But if you have a house and you can plug it in when you get home, yes, that's that's much better. Not to mention the fact they can drive themselves. You know, I'm just hoping. See, if Cadillac can build XT6s as EVs, if they could pull off a 300 mile battery with an XT6 as an EV, if they could pull that off, and if the battery technology gets better, where the batteries get lighter, they're able to store you know 300 uh, miles worth of uh, range and charging them doesn't cause them to burst into flames they could have winners with the xt5 and the xt6 but that's what the lyric basically is the lyrics basically an xt5 my thing is they need to expand on the lyric and they need to build it you know to be like the xt6 and even right there look at this got all these hidden gems this person's got the pacifica hybrid and that supposedly gets 80 miles to the gallon. You don't see many of those, but when you do see them, they do stand out simply because of that badge, that little leaf badge that they got. It's not a Hellcat. It's not a Hellcat badge, but it is, uh, you know, it's a badge nonetheless. Badge nonetheless. It's not a Hellcat, though. So, I mean, the mere fact that you could get, if it's possible, and if that's true, even if you got 70 miles a gallon in a minivan that size, that, that's fucking incredible if you could pull that off. But they were saying that that Pacifica minivan could do 80 miles to the gallon with the full charge. That's pretty damn impressive. That's pretty damn impressive. Because if you're doing 80 miles to a gallon, you fill that fucking thing up once, you might not have to fill it up for the whole month awesome and as i said if i had to take a road trip that pacifica right there that's the only car that i would want to take a road trip in because it, you know it's got the fold down seats fold right into the floor and it's got plenty of space for people who would come with me if i ever took a road trip it's got the sliding doors and everything to make it easy for grandma grandpa to get in and out of because in my family uh one of my uh, uncles he had uh back problems he has a Pacifica minivan, silver, and uh, that's his. They've always used Pacificas. They always had town and countries. They always had Pacificas, and uh, they, uh, you know, do a lot of road trips because you know they live like up north, like Rhode Island and uh, those areas, like Boston, Rhode Island, everything. So when you're doing driving, it's like you're driving larger distances and everything. So you know, if it works for them, that's cool. Goddamn traffic. Look at this. See, this is the fucking traffic. This is what gets people into accidents. All it takes is for you to not pay attention for just like one second, and that's an accident. Just like this person fucking sneaking in front of me like this. Now, see, my adaptive cruise control can't think about him, so I gotta stop it and then I gotta restart it. Because uh, when, you, when you jump in front of somebody like that, sometimes the adaptive cruise control doesn't catch you. And that's the reason why I need full self-driving. So this way it'll keep a better distance while maintaining driving uh, posture and whatnot. All it takes is for you to just be distracted for even a second and you got yourself an accident. So this fucking sucks. This is what it means to be in New York. See all those houses over there, all those ugly ass houses. Those houses are five hundred thousand dollars. All those those pieces of garbage over there. Look at those houses. I could look at them and I could tell just from looking at them what's wrong with them because I've lived here that long. You know, it's like all those houses five six hundred thousand dollars. If you look on Zillow, you see it. These houses look like trash. Makes you. You can have a $700,000 one of these pieces of shit houses and you are embarrassed to invite friends and family over because it's so small and it's like so ugly. Now, yeah, you could always say, yeah, well, at least I got myself a house. Problem is, it sucks, you know. It's like paying top dollar for a big piece of shit that just came out of a dog's ass. It's a very, look at this traffic. 
This is traffic 4K right here. Jesus Christ, look at this shit. I'm wasting all my, you see that? I'm wasting all my fucking fuel. 10.8 miles per gallon. Let me tell you something. I am so ready to get that lyric, man. I'm See, the problem is you can't enjoy anything anymore, especially, you know, I, I've got 10 years to go until I can retire, but you can't enjoy this shit. You can't enjoy nothing. Like when we had the pandemic and everybody was locked inside their house and scared and hugging their children because they thought they were next. I was out here having the time of my life. I was doing 100, 120, 130 miles an hour. I was flying up and down these fucking roads. Now look at this bullshit. And I swear to God, I really, really expected there were going to be less people on the road after the pandemic because I thought most of them were going to be dead. But uh, apparently things didn't work out that way. Chrysler Pacifica Miniman. But as I also said, I don't think I'll be buying any more products from Chrysler. I just, I, I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. You you piss me off with your service even more. You know, like, it, and it, it wasn't just that I got pissed off just one time. It was like um, a litany of things that I could say. For the most part, the service was good, but... Um, this whole thing about, you know, supply chain issues and uh, service inequalities, depending upon where you go, is like, nah, I can't deal with that shit. I'm ready to go to Cadillac. Cadillac will handle it. Yeah, it's cold. It's hot outside. It's 82 degrees outside. So I'm trying to get my... Uh, got my AC running, which wastes even more fucking gas. So instead of it being 11 miles to a gallon, I'm getting 10.8. I think you lose a whole mile per gallon when you run the air conditioner one high. But uh, I'm not going to be uncomfortable for nobody. I want my heated, cooled seats and I want my fucking massage. That's why I got to get my caddy back. This guy right here riding in freaking absolute freaking comfort right here. Now, that's the Maybach version of the uh, S-Class, right? And this guy, there's something in that window. It, there's something in that window. I don't know what it is, but dude, it looks like 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 a, like a ceremonial something in that window. If you can see that. I, I can't tell what that is. Some kind of ceremony. Oh, God, we got one of these fucking goddamn stupid fart cans. But yeah, I don't know who that is in there, but uh, he must have just come back from Dubai or something. I don't know, because that's a uh, that's a that's a limo. So um, it says VIP Lex. I think I know that limo service. I think they operate from over in um, Queens Junction, not far from uh, Manhattan. So every now and then you see the uh, Maybachs rolling around. And he's got the sunshades up, and he's in there. Relaxing. I wonder who that is. No. Well, Alright, well, here we go again. This freaking goddamn horrible traffic. The fucking shit is insane. It doesn't even make sense. It's like there's no reason for there to be this much traffic. There's no freaking way. Absolutely no goddamn reason for this shit. And wait a minute, you know what? I think that guy put those stickers on. It says S500 Maybach. The Maybach's not an S500. The S500 is the lowest version of that car. In fact, that car doesn't have the size to be a Maybach. I think that guy put those stickers on there. I think this guy... I think this guy... Maybe he put that stuff on there. I don't know. Maybe I, I could be wrong. But that door doesn't look long enough. That door does not look long enough for that to be a Maybach. A Maybach's bigger than that. I could be wrong, but I don't remember there being an S500 Maybach. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to check that later. I'm going to have to check up on that shit later. I don't know. I think I think somebody's up badging. Since when is there an S500? I'm, you know what? I'm going to pause my phone right now because I want to check because something's wrong there. I don't know about that one. No, I don't remember there being an S500 Maybach. So I just looked it up. 
And you know that old saying, it says you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool them all all the time. I was 100% right. There's no such thing as an S500 Maybach. And when I was looking at that car, I was like, wait a minute, something's not right because a Maybach is much larger than that car. Turns out there's an S580 and there's an S680. There is no S500. That guy put that shit on that car, so that guy just got caught up badging. Sorry, buddy. You can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool me. I'm too good for you. I can't believe it. That guy put all those badges. He put all that shit on there. And then I kept looking at it. I was like, wait a minute. Why did look at this fucking shit? You stupid motherfuckers. Look at this shit. You stupid motherfucker. Son of a bitch. This is how you get in fucking accidents. Stupid ass motherfuckers. And you saw it here, folks. You saw it. That guy. That, these guys in and out and shit. Pat, man, these people are so fucking dumb. These people are so fucking dumb. It's ridiculous, man. I wish I was like a cop. I'd be like pulling people over, taking their fucking licenses from them. It's ridiculous. It's like traffic could be perfect. But these idiots keep getting into fucking accidents because they're so stupid. And fucking incredible. So anyway, as I was saying, yeah, you, you can't fool me. You put those stickers on there. Those stickers were like crooked and shit. And I was looking at it. I was like, wait a minute. They don't put the Maybach stick. Because, you know, that's, that's what's so funny about being a, a consumer nowadays. They drill images into your mind so well. That if there's something even a little off, you're like, wait a minute, that's not real, that's not really that thing, that thing looks different than that. You, you realize it because subconsciously, you know there's something wrong. And I kept looking at that car, I was like, wait a minute, that can't be a Maybach, it's not big enough. Anyway, if he, if he finds out that uh, he's on YouTube, <laughs> so I, I guess... Uh, I guess they count on the fact that the average rider is too stupid to know the difference in those cars, you know. It's a nice car, you know, don't get me wrong, it's still a nice car, it's just that um, it's not a Maybach. It's like, you, you're you not tricking me. Yeah, it's really it's so strange, I, I kept looking at that thing, I was like, wait a minute, there's something wrong. State troopers hiding back there in the bushes and shit. That guy, he's hiding back there. I don't know what that guy's doing. I don't know if he's having lunch, or sleep, what? I don't know. Maybe they park inside these bushes and they take naps and shit. And sometimes they're out there pointing radar guns. Other times they're taking. Look at this guy all over the line and shit. It's fucking Tucson. Look at this guy. These people are so stupid. I'm, I'm right in the middle of the line, doing the speed limit, and you people are threatening me. coming over my line. Incredible. Oh, here we go. More traffic. I can see them slowing down up there. I can see them slowing down already. I can see them slowing down. Alright. I got this guy jumping. Decides to jump over here. So let me stay over here, get as much distance on these people as I can. Jesus Christ, this sucks. Here we go, we got some Friday morning traffic. On the opposite side, it seems that there's been some type of accident. On the opposite side coming this way, which is weird because if there's an accident on the opposite side, why the hell is traffic this high on this side. So I'm going to get into this lane so I can get a good look, see what's going on over there. Uh-oh, oh shit, oh boy, oh boy, uh-oh, uh-oh, somebody got, oh, what happened, what happened, what happened? Uh-oh. Okay, what happened? Okay, so that's the, oh shit, back in the car, got torn off, oh my god. Look at this! Look at this! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Y'all doing this shit 
this early in the morning, Jesus Christ. No wonder why traffic's fucked up. Oh my God. And now all of a sudden, now traffic's better. So I, I had like a 15 minute slowdown because people are basically rubbernecking into the other lane. It's incredible. But thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. This guy right here, he's got this uh, Shelby Super Snake. Damn sure ain't as fast as the Hellcat or the Red Eye. It's the Shelby Super Snake. I'm looking at the front row on this thing. I think it's uh, pretty cool. I don't like Mustangs. If I was gonna buy a Mustang, I'd get the Mach, the Mach E Mustang. I know a lot of people don't like it. Oh, that's not a Mustang. That's not a real Mustang. It's like, yeah, but uh, first of all, if I can't have the fastest car in the world, I might as well have an electric vehicle. Be the best go electric. Super sneak. Show me super sneak. That's <laughs> pretty cool. Okay, we can move away. Yeah, this fucking traffic sucks. God damn it. And they keep this all the way up, all the way to Manhattan. And this guy's got a GTR. There's something wrong with that license plate. I'm looking at this guy's license plate. And there is something wrong with that license plate, but whatever. Well, I'm not going to be able to get close enough to see him, so... It's fucking traffic. This is ridiculous. This is a crime against humanity. Out here we got these Hellcats and these SRTs and shit. We got all this shit out here. Look at all this shit out here. Look at this. A Hellcat! I got this stupid Lexus behind me. I had to jump in front of his ass. He don't have the health cat. He ain't got the health cat. Get it, Lexus. You ain't never gonna be this fast, Lexus. You stay back there. What is this, FJB? Who is this? Who is this guy? Looks like an older white guy. Wide body, health cat, his wife. It's like, honey, slow down, slow down. It's too, it's too dangerous to drive race cars in New York City, honey. All right, Lexus, you stay back there. Lined up to try to spend all that money on jailbreaks and all that shit. Jailbreak Hellcats, last call Hellcats. It's like, nah, man, I'm done with that shit. I need electric. Like, give me electric. Look at this guy. Look at his wife. His wife, his wife doesn't give a shit. That could have been a scat pack. She don't care. His wife don't care. She's just looking down. She's tired, old, yellow. I mean, you know, she's old and she's got the gray silver hair. She's driving around in the 700, 7 horsepowers and everything. She don't care. These women don't care about these damn cars. They don't give a shit. They want Jeep Wranglers. This traffic's a little bit better. Saturday morning here. It's like we're hogging up the road. Uh oh, showing off for me. Seven hundred and ninety-seven horsepower. 
Seven, and he got the white kit too. Bro, that guy's killing it out here. He, that Lexus could forget it. He ain't doing nothing out here, Lexus. Stay behind me. Stay away from me, Lexus. Stay away. I'm gonna go around the stupid Mazda right here. Stay away from me, Lexus. Boring ass Lexus. Boring ass Lexus. You know what they say? They say you can do anything you want to a woman except for bore her. Well, if you got a Lexus, oh, okay, I'm gonna let you go. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Boring. Boring. <laughs> you can do anything you want to a woman except for bore her. And when you got the Hellcat Red Eye with nine, 797 horsepower, your woman is anything but bored. Yeah. You love it. Yeah, you love it. yeah I'm going to be on YouTube later. Profits or something? I don't know if there's, well, there's not that much profit to speak of. Or free lessons or something? Yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll, t I'll teach it yeah. to the kids because we have the kids yeah. that go. We're at an ocean restaurant, a valley park macaw. Ooh. Let's go in there. Yeah. Let's see what kind of food. You're looking kind of like. you ready for body slam or something. Alright, so this is a nice place, ocean there. Alright. And it definitely is an ocean. I mean, we got the ocean out there. Ocean. That's nice. And they got an upper deck too. That's nice. Yeah, this place is nice. Ocean. This is an. Bayview or Bayville, it's like past, it's like on the beach of uh, Glen Cove and whatnot. This is, this is a nice place. Calamari and lobster biscuits or something? He's doing, yeah. Mm. He's doing his thing. So this is Ocean, and Ocean is seasonal. And as you can see over there, it's beachfront. You got the people running on the beach and everything, walking on the beach. And uh, Ocean is seasonal. So this place, this place is only open during certain parts of the year, basically when it gets warm. So this place, Ocean, and if you ever come here based on this video, like if you live in New York City or you live in Long Island and you've never seen Ocean before, you can tell them that you came here because you saw my video. But for the most part, Ocean is a uh, beach club and uh, they have weddings. You can do weddings here. You can do parties here and everything. And then you got the big ocean right here. This is Long Island, mind you. This is past Lynn Cove. You can look it up. I give you the, the instructions and what, how to get here. But uh, for the most part, beautiful place. Very lovely restaurant. It's a whole beach club and everything. There's a beach club down there and everything. And during the summer, you can come here and you've got uh, lifeguards and you can get right into that water, that nasty ass Long Island water. When you look at this water, you understand the reason why I'm willing to spend thousands of dollars to fly to Bora Bora or Seychelles or Maldives. Because this water is fucking nasty. This is that Long Island ugly as green as copper coated water. This is disgusting. 
but um, that's just what it is. So um, come to Ocean for seafood in Long Island. Come to Ocean if you can. Okay, and tell them I sent you. Show them my channel, tell them to subscribe. Pumpkin creme brulee. Pumpkin, I ain't never heard of these exotic dishes. It's fall. Right, fancy so, things. Pumpkin. We expose you to fancy things. <laughs> Luxury. High li this is high, uh, oh, what is yeah. high living. What is it called? High life here. We only travel the lot. We got the cappuccino right here with the little pinky, <laughs> freaking pinky cup. You gotta cut out all this high living. Yeah, but like I'm like, okay, there are people that are literally pumpkin making pumpkin creme brulee. Five hundred thousand dollars a year. That is Welcome to high easy. society, my friends. So how do I make my little piece of get my car and see if they've been racing it or something. They've probably been test driving it like Ferris Bueller's day off. It's a really nice place. Just remember, if you come here, make sure you tell them I sent you. Just like y'all did when I sent you to that uh, Halal restaurant. It's like they have even more back here. They got like a nice rest lounge and everything this place is nice and they only supposedly it's seasonal but my thing and you know see this is for if you have a wedding you could have a wedding recital or a rehearsal whatever you could have a wedding uh, reception and everything back here this is uh pretty nice this would look really nice with christmas lights and everything they could put a big christmas tree right in here this is nice <laughs> yeah, you don't want to take any risk. Because I always worry it's going to be like Ferris Bueller, where somebody takes your car and the next thing you know they're flying over. You saw Ferris Bueller's day off, right? Uh. at M6 West for Southern State Parkway West toward New York. Jamaica Avenue. Jamaica Avenue. That's how I'm going to end this video. I got to go to Jamaica Avenue to transfer a SIM card from one iPhone to a different iPhone. This is Jamaica Avenue. What are these people doing? What are, what are they talking about over there? What, what is this? Are these those Israelite guys? Because I can't imagine, unless he's selling something like that. What are these people doing? What are these people doing? This whole place, this place, they fucked this place up so badly. You can't get a park down here. You can't do just about it. You can't do anything down here. This whole place has got, whoa, shit. Fucking Maxima. Whoa, okay. All right. This fucking Maxima. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. All right. Wait, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. Goddamn fucking Maxima. Oh, God damn it. Go around me, you fuck. Stupid motherfucker. God damn it. Okay, thank you, stupid ass Maxima. God damn, these people are so fucking dumb. But anyway, um, gonna park right here next to this Dodge Dart wannabe SRT right there. I'm gonna park right here next to Fatima. Fatima's right there. Gotta make sure I don't hit Fatima. Get right in here with the stupid truck. Okay. All right, it's almost seven o'clock. So they're about to turn off the parking systems. So that makes it so you can park here no problem. All right, so yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do a sloppy park job because I ain't got time for this shit. It's fucking bullshit, man. You come down here, you, you think that you're gonna get professional service and be able to park and everything. Look at this guy. You're not supposed to be idling that truck, buddy. When you idle trucks, you hurt the greenhouse gases in the world. Yeah, it's these fucking black Israelites. These people are embarrassment. It's like, why can't y'all do that shit inside of a fucking church? It's just like these people come on my channel with that stupid bullshit 
about, oh yeah, you shouldn't be talking about the children of Jehovah when you talk about passport bros. What about the book of Ezra? It's like, what are you talking about? I think we got some BBLs on this block. What, what is this guy talking about? What is he talking about? Uh, listen, to all the people who uh, have to deal with this bullshit with these people talking shit and you're standing next to them, I apologize, okay? I just want to apologize for this nonsense. Look at this. So I'm gonna go in this uh, T-Mobile real quick. What are these guys doing? What are these guys doing? I could preach better than that. This guy's not preaching. This guy's just testifying. I could preach better than that. I brought y'all to Jamaica Avenue before, so. Yeah, but anyway, this video is gonna be to be continued because I gotta just do this thing and I gotta get the hell out of here. Because I, I hate coming down here. I hate coming down here. They fucked up the streets. They got bus lanes everywhere. They make it so you can't even drive a car on this block no more. Jamaica Avenue used to be popping. You can't even come down here no more. Look at this. And you got this guy over here with the testifying and everything. It's like, dude, 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 dude let, put me on that mic. I'll preach. What are you doing? Yeah, I agree with that. It's a prison. It's a trap. I agree with that. Yes, yes, it's a trap house. I agree. I agree. Okay, so yeah, I just went in there and did my thing. And then we'll see what's going on right here. I'm gonna watch, gotta keep watching my car. I don't want nobody getting near my car. Got this guy right here. What's this guy doing? What's this guy doing? This guy looks like Zelensky. I don't like this guy. What's this guy doing? I did a shitty park job. Okay, yeah, so sue me. What are these people doing? Stay away from my car. Man, I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss this car. When I get my electric Cadillac, I'm gonna miss this car, boy. I love this car so much, but I tell you, the shitty fucking service I've had to deal with, I can't I just can't deal with it no more. Just can't deal with it no more. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. I, I was driving in traffic, people looking at that shit, they're looking at them wheels. It's a good looking car, it's very stately, very masculine, not feminine. Not feminine at all. Just gotta keep watching it because I gotta make sure nobody touches my baby until my caddy lack comes. I swear to God, if it wasn't for the shitty fucking service I had to deal with, I'd probably keep that car. But you know what? Bigger and better things await. Bigger and better things without as much gas and fuel cost. Yeah, this is uh. Yeah, this place is just so crowded. It's just so crowded down here. It's like people walking around in circles like fucking pigeons and shit. Walking sideways like crabs. Guys walking around sideways and shit. Look at this guy walking sideways and shit. What the hell are you doing? Here we go. They, yeah, they still over there. Primark. I don't know what they sell. I don't know what they sell over here. Burlington Coat Factory. Man, I did a really shitty park job. <laughs> Just stay away from my car. This guy's got this dart right here. He's got it all fucked up. It's got stickers all over it and shit. Got the, he can, he can at least get some nice black wheels. He can get some black wheels. That would make it look cool. You know, take all them stickers off. Shit, you can put SRT, but shit, you can put the Hellcat badges on it. Fuck it. Nobody's going to stop you. Oh, this guy's still over there, too. Yeah, we should, we're almost done. I'm, we're just in there transferring the SIM card. So that's the problem with Metro PCS. If you go from one phone to another, you gotta transfer the SIM card. But the problem is, if you don't remember your high security password, you gotta go to the fucking corporate store. It's so stupid. Because they told us he came for everybody. Yeah, Jamaica Avenue. Yeah. To be continued.